हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टेनो फाइटर तो फ्रेंड्स कल से ए एस आर बी की स्किल स्टार्ट है तो फ्रेंड्स जिनका भी कल स्किल है उनको मेरे तरफ से बहुत बहुत ऑल द बेस्ट आई होप आप लोगों का स्किल बहुत अच्छी तरीके से हो जाए तो फ्रेंड्स बी रेडी फॉर इट टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट इन द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हैज बिकम एन इशू ऑफ हाई कंसर्न एमंग मोस्ट कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड नोट इवन ए सिंगल डे इज पासड विदाउट हियरिंग न्यूज सच एज फार्मर्स कमिटिंग सुसाइड बिकॉज ऑफ ड्रॉट और पीपल बींग डिसप्लेस्ड बाई फ्लड और हैवी रेनफॉल इन ए पार्टिकुलर रीजन दिज नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स आर द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हुच इज अफेक्टिंग द क्लाइमेट ऑफ मोस्ट कंट्रीज इट्स रिग्रेसिव इम्पैक्ट आर रिलेटिवली मोर ऑन द कंट्रीज that are significantly dependent on agriculture for economic development and those that are technologically less developed in comparison to the other countries in this category india is among those countries that are continuously exposed to the threat posed by the change in climatic conditions about 65% population of india depends upon the agriculture for subsistence and it claims 22% share in india's gross domestic product one of the main features of the indian agriculture is that it relies heavily upon the monsoons as irrigation facilities are poor in most parts changes in climatic conditions severely affect the crops since increase in the temperature of the earth due to the anthropogenic activities modifies the pattern that results in decreased rainfall over all regions in addition to having an impact on rainfall pattern these conditions also affect yield growth rates soil moisture and water use pattern furthermore higher levels of co2 in the atmosphere causes the change in transpiration rules and crop diversity different and varied impacts on india's agriculture productivity can be seen in different parts of india rising temperature will result in higher rainfall in semi arid regions such as gujarat maharashtra while areas that falls in the central regions will experience 10% to 20% decrease in the rainfall which will adversely affect the crop production in these regions wheat and rice are majorly affected by the variation in temperature of the climate india is the world's largest producer of wheat 10 celsius rise in the temperature in the states like uttar pradesh punjab can decrease the wheat yield significantly 
क्लाइमेट चेंज ड्यू टू ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हैज बिकम वन ऑफ द क्रूशियल काउजेज ऑफ कंसर्न ओवर फूड सिक्योरिटी टू सपोर्ट द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन इंडिया बींग वन ऑफ द कंट्रीज फॉर हैविंग वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट मेल नरिस्ड चिल्ड्रेन एंड वुमेन स्टैंड टू बी हैबली इम्पैक्टेड बाय क्लाइमेट चेंज इन मैनी डायमेंशंस ऑल दो इफोर्ट्स आर बींग मेड इन दिस डायरेक्शन बट ए लॉट नीड्स टू बी डन बाय एडॉप्टिंग pragmatic policy measures so that india could achieve unique and dignified place in international arena further although the government has launched the national agriculture market which provides farmers an electronic medium to sell their produce anywhere in india it is yet to be seen whether farmers can actually derive benefits from this platform one of the major barriers to boosting farm productivity is the lack of new technologies while the national agriculture research system played a major role in the green revolution in recent years there has not been any major break through in research one of the main reasons for this is the lack of financial resources if we compare the data of the percentage of agricultural gdp spending on research and development in asia then the figures are revealing while india spent 31% of its agricultural gdp on research and development in 2010 in the same year china spent almost double than amount even our neighbor Bangladesh spent 38% of its agricultural GDP on research and development in that year as a result of this resource crunch there has not been diffusion of new agricultural innovations and practices that is critical for enhancing farm productivity further there is a lack of interest of students in pursuing research in agriculture as the economic survey notes even in states where agriculture is relatively more important agriculture education is especially weak if measured by the number of students enrolled in agricultural universities there has also not been any major contribution from the private sector towards research and development government should thus private players by giving them incentives to play a major role in agricultural research and development many have cast doubts over the ambition of government to double the income of farmers by 2022 as ashok gulati former chairman of commission for agricultural costs and prices notes doubling of real incomes of farmers would be a miracle of miracles as it would imply a compound growth rate of 12 per annum 
फर्दर इंडिया स्पेंड इज ऑल्सो स्केप्टिकल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एम्बिशन एज देयर एनालिसिस सोज दैट आफ्टर एडजस्टिंग फॉर राइजिंग कॉस्ट एंड इंडियन फार्मर्स इनकम इफेक्टिवली रोज ओनली फाइव पर ईयर ओवर ए डिकेड ऑल दिस इन मैनी वेज पेंट्स ए ब्लिक पिक्चर ऑफ फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर इफ वी हाव इवर वॉन्ट टू सेव द फ्यूचर ऑफ आवर फार्मर्स एंड परमानेंटली क्योर द इल्स ऑफ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर मेजर पॉलिसी इंटरवेंशंस हैव टू बी मेड एट द अर्लीस्ट स्टॉप